In this video, you'll learn about the U.S. native plant goat's beard and its uses in the landscape, and we'll show you the variety of visitors this pollinating powerhouse attracts. Goat's beard is a large plant with presence. So large, a casual observer may think it is a shrub. When mature, it can be three to five feet tall and wide. Its shape and showy feathery blooms help create vertical definition in the landscape. It prefers some shade, but can be tolerant of lots of shade. Examples of landscape design uses for goat's beard include shady woodland gardens, back of the border specimens in planting beds, locations requiring vertical separation, and screening like for this foundation and propane tank on the north side of a house. It's also very cost effective because it doesn't take many plants to fill a large space. Goat's beard has lovely foliage and big showy plume-like blooms that last a long time. These male flowers are filled with pollinating insects. And of course there are other insects here intending to prey on the pollinators. Look closely. This field ant is huge compared to many of the pollinators on these flowers. Here's a quick photo journey of Goat's Beard's visitors, starting with the bees and wasps. No need to be afraid of these insects. They are far too busy to care about you. And they're tiny. Most of these are a quarter inch or less in size. And a few spiders. Flies. I'm always surprised by their number and diversity. To identify flies, look for big eyes and short antenna. Some flies look like bees and wasps. Moths and butterflies. Beetles. And lots of tiny beetles. And finally, true bugs. As the flowers fade, the pollinators move on, but mostly the foliage will continue to look very good through fall and then will die back in winter. Goat's beard will re-sprout from the ground in spring. What is your experience with goat's beard? Leave a comment and subscribe to the Gardens for Wildlife channel. You can also visit our website and blog at www.campbelllandscape.com.